The Centers for Disease Control released its first study on abuse toward women, and the results are astounding. One in four of the women surveyed said they have been violently attacked by their husbands or boyfriends. One in five said they have been the victim of rape or attempted rape. Almost half of the women who reported rape or attempted rape said it happened when they were 17 years old or younger. Meanwhile, a new study by the Pew Research Center shows marriage in America may be on the rocks. Researchers say 51% of American adults are married. That's the lowest rate on record. Not only are fewer people getting married, they're waiting longer to do it. Last year, 9% of people between the ages of 18 and 24 were married. 50 years ago, it was 45%. For more on this, Dr. Jeff Gardier joins us this morning. He's a clinical psychologist here in New York City. Jeff, good morning to you. Good to have you. Uh, good morning. Great to see you. Uh, what do you think? Are you surprised? I'm not surprised at all. We know that with uh, an almost 50% divorce rate, uh, at some point, we were going to see marriage rates were going to be affected, especially by those people who we were hoping would join the institution of marriage. It, it's fewer Americans are, are getting married. What are the concrete reasons of why? Well, we see a couple of things going on. One is that 50% 50, uh, 50 divorce rate right. where young people are saying, wait a minute, I watch my parents who love marriage and then they end up getting divorced, so we don't want to go that way. We also know that e the economy may have something to do with it. Uh, a lot of young people now really want to go to college. They really want to get a career first. And then we find that some people are soured about the whole idea of marriage. As a matter of fact, there's a statistic that shows that one in in four Americans no longer believe uh, a marriage to be a viable institution. But then you've got That's a, few a big things. number. You've got a few things that are also on the rise there too: cohabitation, single parent households, single person households. Mm -hmm. This is a new trend that we're seeing. Uh, it's not a new trend, but we see that it is an increasing trend. Uh, as you stated, uh, from the early 60s up till today, uh, a lot of young people are saying, look, there are different ways for us to live together. We don't have to get married. A statistic that doesn't really show in this particular study, people over the age of 40 or 50 who've already been married are now saying they don't need to marry anymore. Life partners is the way to go. For the people that are getting married, let's talk about that bunch. Who's doing it? Why are they waiting longer? Well, we find that the people who are getting married are the ones who are college educated. Uh, they're waiting until they actually get their degrees. They're waiting until they get uh, some sort of a career. They want to be in place financially first. They want to have fun. They want to travel. They want to do the social networking. There's so many avenues for them to still be kids, be young at heart, before they take on this very serious institution called marriage and then having kids. You said the key word there, serious institution of marriage. Do you think that view still exists? Exist or are we seeing a change? I think we're starting to see a change. I think uh, with a lot of the Hollywood folks, for example, who let's face it, are role models for the rest of uh, many Americans and so on, uh, that they see that they embrace being single parents, they embrace having a life partner and not having to get married. And so I think it's the new normal where a lot of young people, a lot of Americans are saying, well, we do like this idea of marriage. We'd like to get married one day, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't mean that we're a failure. That's not what our parents taught us. Our parents taught us Go ahead, go to school. As soon as you get out of school, whether high school or college, go ahead and get married. That's why we saw uh, marriage rates in the 50s and 60s and so on were much higher for people who are much younger. Now we see that uh, the median age is closer to about 27 and 29 for females and males versus 19 or 20. Back then, if you weren't married by that age, something was wrong with you. These days, if you marry at about 19 or 20, something's wrong with you. <laughs> totally switched around. Absolutely. Uh, quick question before you go. I want to ask yes. you this, and this is your opinion, but is this a trend that society embraces and we move forward, or is there an effort, should there be an effort, to move back to tradition? I think it's going to be the new tradition that it is acceptable to either embrace marriage or embrace a life partnership. What we like to see as psychologists and uh, psychiatrists and so on are people who can be faithful to one another and allow a family unit to grow. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to take the vows. Unless you're religious like me and a Catholic, we do believe in marriage. But again, I respect everyone else's views and I think that's what Americans are saying now. We respect those people who want to get married and we're starting to respect same sex uh, unions, and we're starting to respect those people who really don't want to be married. It'll be an ongoing discussion, Dr. Jeff Gardier, this morning. Thank the you so much. The evolution of America. <laughs> right, exactly. Thank All you. All right.